all the indicators used in this video have each been covered in their own separate series. So check them out if you need more information on how they work. Now let's begin. The process begins with the ALMA indicator with these common default settings. Then add a plain old moving average with these settings. In the case of a strong bullish trend, look for a crossover of ALMA over the moving average. Then pay attention to the Arun indicator with the common length of 14. And the Bollinger Bands percent %B indicator, also with these common settings. Now with Bollinger Bands percent %B over 70%, it's a sign of more bullish strength after ALMA crossed over MA. And when Arun Upper is also over 70%, the final criteria has been met. The chart is quite likely to enter a highly bullish phase of an uptrend. As long as all these conditions are met, ALMA is over MA, Bollinger Bands percent %B is over 70, and Arun Upper is also over 70. Then when Arun goes under 70, but Bollinger Bands is still over 70, or vice versa, it can be a sign the strongest part of the uptrend is coming to an end. This is even more true when Arun Upper and Bollinger Bands percent %B are both under 70. In these situations, Arun Lower may also go back over 70, to give an even stronger indication the strongest part of the uptrend is likely over. This means price will often go flat or slightly downward, with a minor bearish retracement. But the larger uptrend could still be intact as long as ALMA is still over MA. But when ALMA goes back under MA, we get to the bearish side of this process which begins with ALMA crossing under MA, then indications of an even stronger downtrend come from Bollinger Bands percent %B under 30%, while Arun Lower is also over 70%. Here Arun Lower briefly dips back under 70, and that's when the downtrend temporarily slows. Once Arun Lower is back over 70%, and Bollinger Bands percent %B is still under 30 one of the strongest portions of the ongoing downtrend emerges. When this stronger portion of the downtrend begins to end, price flattens or even produces a minor bullish retracement, as Arun lower goes below 70% sometimes, and Bollinger Bands percent %B gets back over 30. So there you have it, a simple strategy with just four indicators. To identify strong portions of a large downtrends and uptrends using lots of common default settings, and simple criteria that only needs a yes or no answer as to whether the indicators are higher or lower than a particular set of values. The moves identified by this strategy are usually so strong they won't be reversed immediately. Usually it will be a gradual transition rather than a rapid reversal, such as in this case where price flattens out before strongly reversing back down. This can also help confirm the strength of chart patterns completing, even continuations such as the descending triangle. And yes, this method generally works across different markets and time frames. You can try tweaking the settings for each indicator, the thresholds for Arun and Bollinger Bands percent %B, but generally these values were chosen because they often work across the widest range of conditions to capture the strongest portion of a trend as soon as possible and striking a balance to reduce the number of false positives, while also trying to capture as much of the strong trend portion as possible, though realistically, not all of it will be captured, but we can try to get quite close. To learn more about other technical analysis topics, please subscribe and stay tuned for more, while also checking out the hundreds of tutorials already on the channel.